Europeans first arrived in what we now call Utah, they met five culturally rich and diverse Indian nations who already called this land home. These tribes were the Utes, Paiutes, Shoshones, Goshutes, and Navajos. These tribes' traditions and cultures played a vital part in Utah, in the past and in the present. The Ute Tribe The Utes gathered plants and seeds as a source of food. They got a lot of their food supply from fishing and hunting. Some animals in which they hunted were deer, buffalo, and antelope. After many Utes acquired horses in the 1600s, they could do more things and travel much further. The Ute people lived in a buffalo skin tent called a teepee, or others lived in brush-covered shelter called a wickiup. Long dresses, skirts, trousers, and moccasins made from buffalo hides were some of the items Ute people wore. Women made clothes from animal skins, while men spent most of their time hunting. Utes are famous for their basketry, beadwork, and pottery. The Paiute Tribe When settlers arrived in Utah, the Paiutes were already irrigating and farming corn, squash, beans, sunflowers, wheat, and melons. Along with farming, the Paiutes gathered seeds, roots, plants, they fished, and hunted small animals. In the winter, Paiute people lived in a wickiup. In the summertime, the Paiute people often didn't use any type of shelter. The Paiute wore clothing made from skins and plants. They often wore little clothing, especially in the warm weather. The Paiute traveled and lived in small family groups of 15 to 30. This tribe was known for weaving baskets in which they would use for storage and carrying water. They would also weave hats, trays, and bowls. The Paiute prayed to influence the spirits of nature and to show respect and gratitude. They called the most powerful spirit being the one who made the earth. The Shoshone Tribe The Shoshone gathered roots, seeds, and pinion nuts. They also gathered many berries such as choke berries, service berries, and gooseberries. They fished, hunted animals, and raised corn, squash, and beans. The Shoshone also ate insects like crickets. For shelter, the Shoshone used wickiups or pit houses, which were dwellings dug in the ground. Like most other tribes, the Shoshone wore clothing made from animal skins. The Shoshone were known for the elaborate and beautiful beadwork. Shoshone looked upon the earth not just as a place to live, they called their earth their mother because she was the provider of all they needed for their livelihood. The mountains, streams, and plains stood forever, they said, and the seasons walked around annually. The Goshute Tribe A lot of the Goshute stay was used for searching for food since they lived in an area that did not have a lot of food sources. The Goshute hunted animals like rabbits and birds. They fished, gathered insects like grasshoppers, and collected all types of plants to eat. They also ate pinion nuts as an important part of their diet. The Goshutes, like a lot of other tribes, lived in wickiups. Most of the clothing the Goshutes wore was woven from plants. However, in the winter, they wore rabbit skin robes. Although Goshutes spent most of their day gathering food, they were very well known for their knowledge of using different plants. They knew which plants were good to eat and which were bad. The Navajo Tribe This tribe used farming as a source of food. The Navajo planted corns, beans, and squash. They also hunted animals such as rabbits, prairie dogs, deer, and antelope. Hogans were the homes of many Navajos. These dwellings were made with stacked logs and dirt. Most of the clothing worn by Navajos was made from animal skins and wool. The wool was a great way to keep them warm in the cool winter. Many Navajo weaved, farmed, silversmithed, and raised sheep and goats. Today, a significant portion of Utah's Indians live and work in urban centers and represent tribal groups from throughout North America. Although most Native Americans live a life very similar to ours, these extraordinary people will never be forgotten as the first inhabitants of Utah.